The new school year is nearly here, and that means it's time to shop for clothes and school supplies. But can you fill up those book bags on a budget? Fox Connecticut's consumer reporter Allison Morris joins us now with some great advice from one of Connecticut's smartest shoppers. I'm here with Gina Giuliano. She is our coupon expert, comes to Fox Connecticut to talk to us often about deals and ways that you can save. We are talking to her tonight about back-to-school savings, how to save money on those school supplies and other things you need this time of year that can really get expensive if you're not careful. What's a smart strategy, Gina, for making this affordable? Watch the sales, watch my website, see what's on sale, don't buy anything full price. You want to look for the things that are absolutely free or about under $2. You can get everything that you need, pens, pencils, notebook paper, notebooks, binders, everything for $2 or less. You shouldn't really be spending a lot per child unless, of course, you're looking for the higher price items like the graphing calculators or the USB um, drives. Okay. However, even those are on sale. You can get a decent USB drive for your children to use at school for under ten dollars. So if we're just talking paper and pens and those kinds of supplies, what's a reasonable budget for getting all that kind of stuff? About ten dollars per child. Um, there's really no need to spend more than that. If you see here on this, my staples list for this week, you can get the mechanical pencils and the multi-purpose multi-purpose copy paper both for free after you get a rebate from Staples. What are other types of stores or what kinds of places should you be going to to find the best back to school deals? Well, the drug stores have a lot of back to school deals not only on school supplies but on snacks for your, your children's lunch boxes and a lot of the grocery stores are starting to feature the back to school snack kind of things for children's lunch boxes. So here's a great deal um, if you want to do peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for your kids you can pick up the, the jelly part of the peanut butter and jelly for pretty much free. And you can get this because there is a principal coupon right on my website. And this is $1.29. The jelly itself is $1.29. And when the coupon doubles, it's a 75 cent coupon, you're going to pick that up for pretty much free. Awesome. Thank you so much, Gina. And we're going to have a lot more from Gina on our website, so be sure to head over to ctnow.com. We'll give you a link there to her website and give you lots more ways that you can save on back to school shopping.